Hey all YouTubers and subscribers, good morning. Um, I had gotten a strange email, okay. Excuse my, my mess, but it's like going to be 90 some. The humidity here is going to be over 90, which is going to be really, really bad. Um, I received an email from someone off of YouTube claiming that they are possessed. This gives me a topic to speak about, okay. As, as my subscribers know that I'm a demonologist and an exorcist, okay? Um, first signs of so-called possession is not saying that I am possessed, okay? Um, the person who has the dark entity who has taken over the body is not aware that what is going on until, say, somebody's husband or wife mentions to them that they're acting a little bit wacky, that they're not acting normal. A true possession is, is where the eyes are cold black. A true possession is when someone who speaks in a tone of voice that is out of the norm, that is not really human, that is like um, mean sounding, okay? Another sign of possession is, is like uh, animalistic like behavior. Um, one where uh, you act like an animal by clawing, biting, scratching, snarling, um, these type of, of things, okay? I am not going to say the word demon because I have a lot of, I have a few friends who believe in the dark world but they don't believe in demons so I'm going to respect their views. So I hope you two get a laugh out of that. Um, but when, when one is possessed, the, the main thing before I go into an exorcism is I do a inspection to make sure that this is actually a possession, okay? Someone cannot make up a video and sit there and put a plastic bag over their head and pass out for like two or three minutes. Not possible. It's possible when you go into a meditation type thing, okay, where you can do that, okay? But why a plastic bag? Go figure, okay? This to me was very strange. So I, I feel that this one video was staged uh, for what purpose? I have no idea. Why I was sent an email? I have no idea because I don't know this person from Adam. Um, it's just that, you know, he, they claim that they're afraid of being possessed, okay? Um, you are not aware of actions. Nothing. Nothing, okay? It is like... I wrote to a good friend of mine, it's like being hypnotized. It's like a person being hypnotized. If you were ever hypnotized, you are not aware of what is going on, what you're doing to other people. Uh, the milder form of possession is uh, arguments, anger, contention, um, things that's out of the norm for your personality. The first thing I look for in a person is their eyes. That The eyes is the doorway to the soul. And if the eyes are black, then there's something going on. If you see a person acting out in an abnormal, animal, animalistic way, okay, crawling on the floor, clawing, when you bring bring out the evil spirit, okay, um, you can see all the manifestations starting to take form. Many times with me, a lot of my clients have talked normal in a normal voice but in, on the other hand I've had them kick me scratch you know wanting to threaten to kill me and so forth and so forth and so forth they are not aware that this this is going on and they do pass out if the energy is strong enough they do pass out okay if it's really really bad okay to a medium not a bad bad not like the exorcist but like to the point of where it is almost a total possession. You understand what I'm saying? This gave me a great topic. I wasn't going to bother with this, but this gave me a great topic to talk about instead of fighting around. Um, so, you know, in this video that I was sent, I do not believe that it is real. It was staged. I have never, ever in my life heard about someone going into a meditative, doing the alm thing and putting a plastic bag over their head with being surrounded by candles, okay? So I cannot, I was going to make a video up asking certain questions, but I'm not going to waste my time because in the spirit realm, I'm not to mess with that, okay? I'm, I'm not 
they told me to just stay away. So I'm just going to stay away, and I thought I'd make up this video for a little bit more education on what possession really is. Um, there are things that cannot be answered. There is behavior such as mental illness, which I've talked about, schizophrenia and so forth like that. Um, these are forms, too, of, of possession. There are forms, because you are weak in spirit, of alcoholism, drugism, and, and so forth like that. So there's different types of uh, demons out there, okay, for different purposes. I've explained that through my videos, too. But I wanted to put this up to make it clear that um, someone who says that they are possessed, watch how they act, okay? Watch their mannerism in general. If they claim that they are possessed, then I can almost guarantee they're not. But if someone comes to you and says, hey, I have this real problem, okay, and the real problem is that I don't think I am myself. There's something going on with me. Can you check and see? Take the time to do that. But of course, I don't know if too many people do what I do, but um, and it is spooky, so but I don't recommend it for anybody. But this is how you can pretty much tell. So if anybody gets this video, uh, from this guy. I, I'm not even going to say his name um, because I don't want to be fighting with anybody else, okay? So, um, that's it, folks. Um, the, the title to this is uh, What is Possession? What really is possession? Not staging, okay? Alright, this is Try 76 signing off.